Hello and welcome to Robot Framework Tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the browser keywords that are provided in Robot Framework Selenium Library. So some of the very important browser operations are needed to, to be performed when you are doing the automation testing. And I'll be covering some of the keywords which you can utilize to perform operations within the browser. So the first very important keyword is the open browser and it is pretty simple this is the starting point of your automation that you need to require to open the browser before you can actually you know perform any action on the web page that you are going to test so open browser helps in opening the new browser instance to optional um, url so whatever url uh, you you will provide with the open browser keyword that you can uh, that it will open in the robot framework, which we have already seen in the previous tutorials. Now, the whole purpose of this uh, covering these keywords is to uh, give you a brief understanding of all the keywords that are available in the robot framework Selenium library and how you can utilize all those keywords. So some of the examples of the open browser are that you can utilize open browser with the URL. So you can um, provide the URL that you want to open and the Firefox and the browser name. So either Chrome, Firefox, Safari, etc. The second example shows that you can provide the alias as well. So for example, you want to give a particular name to that particular instance of the browser that is opened. Then you can specify the alias. Now this alias helps you to switch within the browser so it's really helpful and in many scenarios when you are doing end-to-end -end test cases there will be uh, an application for the front end where you'll, you might be entering some data and then you might to uh, you might need to open the back end in another uh, url or another browser and then you might be required to switch among those browsers and that's where these alias are really helpful so don't worry about these uh, things now uh, i'll cover all of this alias and ids with example now the other two are uh, another example for open browser you can just specify uh, open browser with a blank or you can just specify the browser name and it will open the blank window um, for that particular browser now some other browser operations are closing the browser so if you see uh, if you choose close browser uh, close browser keyword it will close the current browser so whatever is the latest uh, the current browser that has been selected it will close the current browser then close all browser keyword will close all the open browsers and then it resets the browser cache so this is very helpful and should be used when you are doing tests or suite teardown to ensure that all open browsers are closed before you can uh, before you are starting with the new test case then get browser ids is basically what it does is it returns the index of all active browser as a list so it returns the list of the browser index so for example, you have open four browsers, okay? And what get, get browser ID will do is it, it will return the index of all those four browsers starting with one, two, three, four. So we'll see that in the example. Now maximize browser window, you have already seen that it maximizes the window, the browser window to full screen. And get browser alias is sort of similar to IDs. So get browser IDs returns an index of all active browser as a list however get browser alias keyword returns the all active browser uh, that has an alias as a dictionary so as a normalized dictionary so that's the only difference so if you have specified the alias for the browsers that you are opening then it will return those alias as a dictionary and then switch browser is used to switch between active browsers using index or alias. So these are some of the very important browser keywords that are available in Robot Framework Selenium Library. Now let's go ahead and understand all these into a script. So let me open PyCharm. And here you can see that I have created a script already working with browser, okay? And what I'm doing here is 
I'm simply, so in the settings, I'm just imported the Selenium library, which provides all these keywords, right? So open browser, uh, maximize browser window are all the keywords that are being provided by the Selenium library. Then I have defined the variable, which I'm not using in this script. So I'll just minimize that. Uh, now here, what I'm doing is I'm opening the browser. So I have used the keyword open browser. I have specified the URL that I want to open in this browser. So google.com and the browser that I want to launch. Okay, so Chrome in the Chrome browser, it will open that and it will open google.com in Chrome browser. Then I'm also specifying the alias. So for this particular instance of the open browser, the alias will be Chrome RCV. Okay, then the second instance of open browser, I'm opening the blank page in the Firefox. Okay, so this is the uh, fire, uh, short form of the Firefox browser. So if you want to get details of what you can specify here, you can go to the Selenium library here and you can simply say open browser so this is the keyword documentation which is really helpful so these are the names that you can specify right so you can specify either firefox ff google chrome or chrome or gc so similarly you can choose all other browser names okay now coming back here so i have specified it in firefox then i have also specified the alias rcv firefox okay Third keyword I'm utilizing this script to show is the maximize browser window. So it will maximize the browser window, which, which will be the Firefox window. So let me move this to the above here so that you can uh, easily see that Google Chrome is getting maximized and Firefox is not. Okay. So what it will do is it will open Chrome first, it will maximize Chrome browser, that, then it will open the Firefox. And after that, what it will do is, so get browser aliases is, is basically the keyword that will get the alias that we have defined for these two browsers. So it will get the alias Chrome RCV and RCV FF and store it in the dictionary. So I have defined a dictionary variable there. And then I'm logging the alias. So I'm logging the first alias which is at the index one. So you will be able to see the first alias that will be stored. Then I'm also getting the browser IDs. So what browser IDs will do is it will return the list of browser open active browser. So there will be two browsers that I have open, two open browser keyword, and it will have the two browser IDs which will be stored in this variable, list variable browser ID. Now the next step is I am logging the first browser id that is at the index one now then i'm using the switch browser so now switch browsers browser is really important when you are switching between the browser to do particular operation so for example you are on the front end you want to enter the customer data submit the customer data and then go into the back end so back end you can open in another browser and log in as an administrator administrator credential so it depends what credentials you are going to use in your actual application but this is just a hypothetical scenario to explain you what you will be how you will be utilizing the switch browser so after the data entry in the front end you will go to the back end open in another browser log in with admin credential and verify in the back end that those that the data entry that you have made in the front end is actually present in the back end so that's why you will use this switch browser to switch between the front end uh, or the customer entry portal to the data verification which is basically the admin portal right so this is one of the hypothetical scenario that uh, that i can think of uh, which which wherein you will utilize switch browser and there are many other uh, when, when you are doing automation there are so many scenarios wherein you have multiple applications and you need to switch between those applications. So switch browser will be utilized a lot more there. And now when I'm saying switch browser, switch, switch browser, you can switch by ID. So uh, you can specify the ID directly. So for example, there are two browsers, the ID will be one and two. And here I can specify that ID directly to switch 
between the browser then here the next step is to input text so that's another uh, keyword that i'm utilizing just to show you that after switching the browser so here if you see this open browser will have the id as one the second one will have the id as two so what i'm saying here is after opening these browser maximizing the window uh, switch the browser to the first browser which is google.com and then input text this particular text in the uh, text field that is defined by this particular xpath then the next switch browser is basically uh, you can use the alias so you can specify the alias as well so rather than uh, specifying the id you can also specify the browser alias so what i'll do is i'll specify the alias uh, in the second instance so i'm saying switch browser to the alias which is basically the one so this is the index so index starts with zero so when i say index one it will basically go to the second uh, instance of the browser that i have opened which which is uh, the firefox instance and then in the second instance it will type in um, go to salesforce.com open salesforce.com and then close all browsers so what close all browsers keyword will do is it will close all the browsers or all the open browsers that are uh, active at this particular instance so this is very simple uh, script to demonstrate the browser keywords that are available in the selenium library that you can utilize very important thing to remember here is about the switch browser get browser by ids or get browser um, aliases and defining the aliases because this will be really helpful so let's uh, run this particular script and see the results so it will open the chrome browser first okay it will maximize it now the second browser will be the firefox browser so you can see the firefox is getting open this won't get maximized now the next step will be to type in the keyword in chrome and then it opened the firefox browser opened the url that we specified salesforce.com and ran it successfully right so let's go to the results and see the report okay so let me open it into the firefox browser and analyze the report which contains all the keywords that we have defined in this particular test so here if i maximize the test you can see the keyword the first keyword we used was open browser right and we opened the chrome browser and open google.com there right and the alias that we provided was chrome rcv the second was the maximized browser window the third keyword is the open browser which is the firefox browser and it was a blank um, page that we opened in the firefox then the fourth keyword was get browser aliases okay so now you can see it's a dictionary keyword um, a dictionary variable which contains the key value pair so there is an alias the first alias and the id okay so it has the index value so one two and then you can access it either dollar aliases dot key or aliases with the index so either zero or one so if i say zero it will access this chrome browser if i say one it will access the firefox browser All right then the next was to log the alias so i have specified i want the alias which is at the index one so you can see that it has logged the alias name rcvff that we have defined for the second browser then it is a get browser id which is basically the id of the open browser so one and two and it has returned as a list now if i say browser id at one it will um, print one here uh, sorry it will print two because this is the index right so at the zero index the id is one at the one index the id is two so it has written two here then switch browser one so i'm hard coding or specifying the actual id to switch so this time it will switch to this particular 
browser which is the chrome browser and there it has input the value rcv academy into the search field with the xpath that i have provided there then there is a sleep keyword um, to sleep for four seconds and then switch browser with alias okay so it switch to the firefox browser and then in open salesforce.com and finally it closed all open browser and resets the browser cache so this is the very brief about the browser keywords that are available um, or some of the browser keywords that are available in the robot framework so there are many permutation combination that you can try with these keywords simply go to the selenium library keyword documentation and if you uh, scroll to the keyword section there at the top you will find a lot of keywords that are available here so i'll be covering most of these in this tutorial but there will be many more and many more arguments that you can try with so even with the firefox or even with the open browser if you see there are so many uh, options here that you can try with so for example uh, you can try with the remote url or desired capabilities etc so you can go through and read all the details that are available here um, get back to me if you are finding any difficulties i'll be really happy to help out so that's pretty much all about the browser operation keywords in robot framework selenium library hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching